Hi YouTube family, this is Ravi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are on the series Learn Service Now from Zero till Advanced with me. So we have already seen in the last video how to apply filter to our list, what is list, what is form and how we can find out from the URL. So we'll start from there, we'll go back to our session. If you are very new to this channel, please do share and subscribe and you can find the previous video details in the i button even in the description box i will be putting the link so let's get started so we'll go to the incident table last time we went there so we'll open that incident so we have used this filter concept now the requirement is let's say i'm your manager and i'm asking you hey ravi hey uh, raj i want you to create a filter for me and save this filter on the front page in my favorite section how I can do it it's very simple guys just create the requirement once you get the requirement convert the requirement to simple English and just apply it so the requirement is create a filter for me whose priority is critical so first of all you will apply a filter so you can click here and you can apply the filter and there is one shortcut which you can do it so whatever the priority value you want to select let's say I'm selecting critical click not click if you click it will come like this just click right so you have to basically do the right click right click and do the show matching once you do the show matching you will see the filter is applied on the top automatically so instead of going the filter and applying it better you do like this that is the best option once you do this just click on the funnel icon back and you will see this option called save save filter if you click on save you will see few options available over here save as obviously you need to put some name so let me put some name let's say I'm copying this name critical now you will notice this filter is visible to only me or to everyone or to a particular group so in my case I will be selecting me but in case of your manager you can select group and if your manager belongs to any group called manager group or XYZ group, you can add that group name over here. But how to create a group? We will see in the upcoming sessions of ServiceNow where we will understand user administrator details. We'll create users, group roles. That time we'll see about group. But as of now, I will choose this option called me. Even you can share with everyone. This filter will be available to everyone, whether it is me, you or anyone who is being part of my ServiceNow instance. So I'll click on me. And I will save it. Once you notice the filter is saved, what you have to do is just remove all the filters, whatever is coming in front of you. How to remove? Click on this breadcrumb. Now, once you click on breadcrumb, come to this small section. This is called list control. It will it is controlling the list actually. If you click here, you will see all this option view filter. Now click on the filter. And you, you just select your filter which is available, which is one critical which I have created fine once you select it the filter is auto applied now once the filter is auto applied you can create a favorite of it so once you create a favorite just put any name let's say test manager and just select any of the icon as this, this is my manager and uh, yeah that's it done there you go you can go back to the first page and refresh the page you will notice that box is appearing right away in front of your screen which I have created see test manager if I open this see I will be going to the same page see with the applied filter if I again close all this open it so uh, I don't have to apply the filter it will automatically coming up so this is this part is called creating filter creating favorite for my filter as per my requirement now we'll see the scenario number two my manager will ask you Let's say I'm your manager. I'm asking you, hey guys, I want only number field, color field and uh, priority field to be displayed in front of my screen. I don't want other fields to be displayed in front of my screen. What I can do? So guys, there are two ways to do it. First, you will guide your manager to go to this setting icon that is called personalized list. You will guide your manager. Once they select this personal list, you will get two buckets. One is available for bucket and one is selected bucket. Available for means whatever the details available on the left hand side, you can put that details to the right hand side 
and it will be displaying in front of your screen. For example, you will notice number is here, sort description is here, dot dot caller, updated, updated by and created. So we have a bucket full of water and we have a second bucket which is half filled or empty. You can put this from left hand side, right hand side. So I don't want these details for example, I will remove it. I only want caller and priority. I don't want even this. Just I want these three. You will guide your manager to go to the personalized list and save it. Once you save it, you see, you will notice only these three columns are selected. This is one way of doing it, which your manager has to do it. But what if your manager don't want to do like this? He want you to uh, just select that like filter they have to select it and you will be getting the view. How we can do that? Yes, we have we have this option to do it. So let me just restore to default. If you click here, we have this option down there. Restore, reset to default column. Yeah, default column is appearing in front of my screen. Correct. Now what you have to do, right click on any of the column any of the column just a right click got it once you right click here also you can right click you have this option called configure and then we have a list layout why we have list layout because we are on the list view remember this concept we are on the list view that's why we are getting a list layout if we are on the form we will get the form layout so we'll click on the list layout and then you will see the same kind of a page available for and selected and remember guys this part is called your slash bucket. The table name is called slash bucket. Now you have one bucket of water full and another is half empty. You will have to select whatever you want from left hand side to the right hand side and you have to apply it. Now here we have a view name. You can see default view selected. So now what you have to do is you have to click on this new option because you have to select the new view. Okay. So I'm selecting the new and uh, let's say new manager view. This is my view name. Now what my manager need? My manager need only three details. Now see my view selected. Now I can add from left hand side or I can remove from right hand side is up to my requirement. So my manager don't need all these options. He only need number and caller and priority and category. So let me remove this. Let me remove this and let's put the caller on the top. Yes, yeah, already on the top priority. You can rearrange it priority to be after state and category to be before priority. Now done. Save it. Once you save it, this will be saved and the new manager view, but still you can see the same view which you are seeing right now. What you have to do is you have to go to this option again, list control, go to the view and select the view which you have created. So this is my view, new manager view. If I select this, I will get number, caller, state, category, priority, whatever we have created. So again, I am repeating, you have to come to the column, right click, configure list layout from list layout. You will create your view name from the new button as I have created already new manager and select whatever you want from left hand side and add it to the right hand side. For example, I want uh, on the right hand side description. I can add description after priority and what you will notice this description will be added over here. See? Correct. Now I want this to be available on the favorite section. So let me remove this as of now. Let's go back. What you can do is remove everything, whatever you are having. So I'm removing it to the default view. Now you select everything. New manager view. And what was your filter? So filter was one critical. Done. Come back to the favorite. Choose anything. Let's say incident fab. And just save it. Boom. You are good to go with this part which is available on the favorite section. Once you open this, you will be able to see the same table which you were in. Incident table with all the filters and the view applied. So this part is called filter configuration, view configuration as per your requirement. And the last topic over here is, you can group by this. Group, grouping by means, you can segregate the data into chunks. Like if a person belongs to high category, so high priority, it will all the tickets will be under that bucket or under that folder. 
so let me just go back to the previous priority fine now i will right click on this part and i will do the group by if you do the group by see the four five folders are created under one folder we have 27 ticket which is of critical you can see a folder sign is already there now hi we have four ticket is just nothing but segregating the data in a single folder this will help you to see under which uh, choices tickets are available this is applicable to all the tables in service now all the tables if I, you ask me not even a single table cannot have group by every table has a group by option you can do the group by from here also or you can do the group by from here also your wish I preferly select this part because we have available columns if I if you don't want to select it right click do the ungroup part and even you can select it from here which is group by let's say active it will display you the active part 27 tickets are false in front of my eyes now let's go back we have show now what is this show you can see we have 50 row per page now if you change this show to 15 it will show you 15 row per page similarly this is very easy and self-explanatory you can choose 100 row per page it will display you all the 100 tickets yeah 100 row per page and will display you all the 100 tickets if you are having 100 tickets obviously you have only 76 okay now what you can do is you can refresh the list from here also reload the page you can refresh the list by clicking this option and last you can refresh the list by right clicking and refresh the list anything is fine you can do this so this part is completely called list filter and form activity which you will be doing in the simulator part when you are preparing for CSA exam so I will be also putting the video for the simulator part very soon but remember this concept on the list view you will find the list details on the URL and the list we have configuration you can do this with the help of list layout we have filters we have form when you open any particular record it will give you the form and one last part I wanted to tell you first search we have seen in service now that is your filter navigator search second search is your global search and third search which you are seeing currently in your screen that is called your contextual search or the header search which is available on any of the table you will find this search nothing but here we have the columns only same columns number color state so this part is called contextual search or is called a header search also on the table it will be available that's all for today and we will be seeing the new content very soon where we will see about how to create a table in ServiceNow like the table which you are seeing currently how these are created basically this is created by ServiceNow not by me so how we will create our own custom table in the upcoming session we will see so if you have any doubt you can feel free to ping me in the comment section if you have any doubt if you want any particular video you want on a particular topic you can ask me and we'll be made to you soon. If you really like this video, do share and subscribe. We'll see you in the other section. Thank you so much, guys.